Welcome back, everyone. If you're new, welcome. This is the final and fall challenge for the year 2020 with 1UP. This is going to be a registration guide walkthrough on how to get everything set up for your dashboard. You start by hitting register on the 1UP site. Obviously, you plug in your personal information. We skipped all of mine because you guys don't need to see that. But then you just want to be honest. It's going to ask your you know, your age, your height, your weight, whatever you're weighing yourself on, if that's a gym scale or a home scale, try to keep that consistent. I still prefer to use measurements, but 1UP does want my weight, so that's why I plug it in there. And then beginner or advanced, I am more advanced in my training, but my videos will be showing the beginner side and the advanced side for this time. So once you hit the success screen, everything is done. All you have to do is go to the login button or go back to the home page. When you go to the home page, you simply just click little yellow button, hit login. Your face will take you into the dashboard. When we say dashboard, this is what we talk about. It's going to be the basic first screen you see. It'll have, you know, your weight tracker, your goal tracker. It'll show you exactly where you're sitting. Weight tracker graph to show how you're doing. Progress photos, meal plan. All of this is in those three little dashes at the very top, but it's all on your homepage. Starting with a meal plan, it's not a cooking guide. This is more of general reference. You can choose the diet and how you prepare your foods. But the top left corner is going to have macros, calories, and then a basic layout for your plans. This isn't definitive. This is just a generic guideline on what the food that you're consuming, what the nutrition values for those are, and how to read those. Whatever you have at home, you want to go by the nutrition label. I use Nutritionix apps. A lot of people use macro counters and my Fitness Pal. Always make sure that you're using whatever you have on your nutrition labels at home. Next is the workout plan. You have two. You have a gym plan and you have an at-home training edition. The gym full body plan is going to be based off of the machine. So if you're going to a gym that you don't really understand what it is, your machine is going to have the same names as these or you can Google them. Some of these are for standing free weights and for cable machines. Some of them for, are for the normal machines in the gym. So scrolling through that. I do all my videos based off the at-home workout edition because I still don't do a lot of the gym workouts, but it's a very simple layout. There's your hit cardio, two rounds of each one, and then it's broken up into your splits. So Monday is arm day. It goes by all your basics. It'll show you how many sets to do, how many reps to do, if you need to add in abs, if you need to add in hit. Going back to the main home screen, we are going to jump in supplements. You can feel free to reach out to me. I am an ambassador. I can give you discount codes but they do give everyone a guide. It describes what each supplement does. And if you click on the supplement, it takes you directly to the website with the pricing and more details on what each supplement is there for. Going into the weight tracker, super easy, obviously. We're not in the challenge, so you can't see anything, but that's where I track my weight. This is where all my pictures are gonna be. It'll show your front side and back week one through week eight. This is where your check-in card will be. It automatically uploads, so you will not see it right now. You won't see it until the first week when we can check in. And then here's your rules. What really matters is, number one, please follow the rules. It can cause instant disqualification. Number two, it gives your week end dates. That is when your pictures are due. Thank you, guys. Welcome to the challenge.